What's up, my baddies and my bad boys? It's your girl, me, but y'all already knew that. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be covering outgrowing people. Yes, y'all. I'm going to give you um how to know when you're outgrowing people in situations and tips on outgrowing them. If you like this video, you guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into this video. Period. Okay, y'all. So as you start to grow in your own journey with yourself with god and everything you're going to start to outgrow things and it could be uncomfortable it can be painful but it's all a part of life and this also ties in with your pyramid everybody has a pyramid and at the bottom you start you have the bottom the second row and then it's like four rows but like at the top is where it gets lonely a lot of people are not going to come with you only the people that really have your best interest at heart and only those that God wants to be around you. And when you're at the bottom of your pyramid, everybody is cool, like yada yada. Like, that's when it feels comfortable. But I feel like once you climb higher in your pyramid, it's going to get uncomfortable because those people that you thought was going to stick around, they don't. And they start showing you signs that they don't. So you have to see the signs, y'all. You have to have discernment and judgment to be like, see what's going on here so ways to know you're outgrowing someone you don't care if they text you or not <laughs> you don't care to hang out with them um a lot of times they, like i said they stop texting you or calling you this could be a boyfriend this could be a friend this could be any situation it can be a situation it could be whatever in your path that's showing you that you're outgrowing a situation and you're gonna know if you're outgrowing a partner because you're going to talk about it, but then you're going to stop caring about it. You're not going to care if they text you. You're not going to care if they don't call you, whatever the case. Like, it, at, at that point, it's a, is what it, it's a is what it is type of vibe. And when you start to get to that point, that just simply means that you're outgrowing them. Yeah, like, you have to move on. And it's hard because detachment is a thing. Soul ties are a thing. So, like I said, ways to um outgrow this person is or ways to detach from that person is definitely stop calling them as much you slowly stop to stop calling them stop texting them wanting to hang out things like that um i'm going through that as we speak y'all <laughs> and same thing with friends you know you want to slowly stop texting them and calling them because if you're texting and calling them that still means that you have some type of tie with them also, you baddies, another way to detach a person is to stop speaking about them. And my motto is, I don't do too much talking. It pretty much means I'm not going to do too much more talking about the situation. I'm not going to do too much more talking to that person. Because I feel like if you're talking, you're doing a bunch of talking, and there's no actions, there's no point to stick around. Another thing is, like, um, if you stop caring about stuff... It's like, yeah, you're outgrowing that person. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you stop texting them, you stop calling them, and their actions can make you outgrow a person. You'll be like, mm -mm, I'm not dealing with that. It can be a number of things that makes you outgrow a person. Like maybe just time frame, maybe their actions, maybe how they carry themselves. It can be a number of different things that make you, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe you just wake up one day and be like i'm like outgrown this person it could be a four month time span a six or seven a year two years you could be friends with somebody for 25 years and be like i think i'm outgrowing them and there's nothing wrong with that i feel like when you're outgrowing people that means that you're growing it's the same concept as if you buy a shirt you wear this shirt a long time and then you try the shirt on again and it doesn't fit so that just means that it's time to get a new shirt point blank period it also works the same as like if you get your hair done and you have that same hairstyle for like a month and it starts to frizz up, <clears throat> it starts to unravel, lace fronts, y'all women know, um, the lace starts lifting, 
whatever is going on with your hair or whatever nails hair whatever it's the same concept out growing works the same way it's the same concept you've had that style of that knit or those nails for a period of time and you're simply just outgrowing the situation or the person and sometimes emotions can come with outgrowing people like sometimes you just get tired of stuff you know and like i, I said growth is the number one factor of outgrowing stuff because you could just be like because the person that you were when they met you and the person that you are now are two different people you're growing you start off as a little cocoon a little caterpillar and then you start to grow your wings and when you grow your wings situations and people um they're they're caging your wings so you can fly it's not enough space for your wings to just be out and you just fly but once you give yourself that grace and that time to detach and heal um and to really be in tune with you and god then that's when you know your situation gets more comfortable to deal with and i promise y'all once you pretty much do all the things that i'm saying doing you'll be better off it'll be easier for you to deal with your detachment phase mm, i feel like another way to another tip on detaching from someone and growing outgrowing a situation Spend some time with yourself. Spend some time with your friends. Um, if you're pursuing someone else, spend time with them. Spend time with God. Read your word. Um, go out. Do stuff. You know what I'm saying? Do things that make you happy. If you're a painter, do some painting. If you're a nail artist, do your nails. Like Whatever you feel like you need to do to get your mind off of that person, detach. Because... Think about it, y'all. The time that you're spending worry about them, texting them, and calling them and shit, they ain't paying you no mind. They ain't worrying about you. And you know your worth. So, with that being said, you have to take all your love, all your energy, take it back, snatch it back, give me that back, get over here, period. Snatch all that shit back and give it into yourself and God. Like, go where it's giving. If that person is not giving dump their ass off what y'all do with trash when it's too when it's too full y'all take it out right all right that's how outgrowing stuff is set up metaphorically your trash is full so you need to gather up that trash and throw it away is it going to be hard yes is it going to be uncomfortable yes is it going to be tough absolutely but can you do it Yes, we can. Are we going to do it? Yes, we can. Period. Because that's just how life goes. And yeah, y'all. That's pretty much all I have for y'all. If y'all like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Put in the comments any videos y'all want to see from me. It's 2024, y'all. We're not coming into this year with no BS. And when shit happens, we handle it like what? <laughs> Baddies. Period. So yeah, y'all, that's all I have for you guys. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Always remember you're beautiful, y'all. And y'all know I'm going to do it. Because we what? <laughs> what? What we doing, y'all? We living, thriving, and growing over here, y'all. I will see y'all in my very next video. Happy 2024, y'all. Peace and love.